What's up, guys? So I decided to make a new weekly series for you. I have a lot of people every week who ask me um, for workout help and workouts and everything else, and I was trying to think of what I could do that would be, you know, kind of a weekly thing I could do for YouTube. So um, instead of posting videos every single day, I figured once a week I'm going to actually go through my entire workout for you. Let me turn off my phone real quick. Uh, and... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through these, okay? And I'm going to walk you through how I'm doing my workout for the week, what I'm doing, uh, and everything else. So let's try to get into it as fast as we can. Uh, my workout, if you notice the top, the days of the week, it doesn't really matter, right? I take two days off a week. Whether they're back-to-back -back or not, it doesn't really matter. Some days it might be two on, three off, four on, uh, you know, one off. Whatever it might be, I always, in the week, take two days off and hit these five um, workouts every single week so the workouts will always change each week when I do them but this is pretty much uh, what I did all this week so seated calf raises we're gonna start with legs start on Monday uh, seated calf raises pretty simple um, I did it says nine sets and the reason that that's uh, appropriate as you see I put the format down on the bottom as well so like this week I did four sets of everything so unless it says anything else outside of that um, I did four sets, 10 reps, three seconds on the way down, one second contraction, okay? Um, if it says drop set, it just means I did four drops. So the last set, I dropped it four times in a row with as little big break as possible with a minimum of six reps each set. So if I couldn't get six, I dropped it down until I could get six, okay? Um, that's kind of how I did it with that. So obviously, as you can see, a lot of volume in my workouts. Uh, but again, I eat pretty big, so it's it's okay. I can handle it, and I do take two rest days, so my body does get plenty of time to recover. Um, cardio, as you see, uh, I do cardio four times a week right now for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, cardio is not like my biggest concern at this point. Once I get back from uh, Minnesota in two weeks, then I will um, up my cardio game a little bit and really start to cut down for the summer. Um, I have a goal of about 12 more pounds I want to lose. Uh, right now I'm sitting about 215. So if I can get down to about 203, 204, then my six pack's good to go for the summer. We're all good at that point. Um, so what we're doing here is start with legs, seated calf raises, nine sets. All that that means is I did three sets uh, with my feet, po toes pointed in, three sets, toes pointed out, three sets, neutral feet, okay? The reason I do that is to hit all the angles of the calves, um, and that's what I do for calves. I don't have to do a lot of work for calves. My calves are genetically disgustingly huge, so this is all I do for calves every week. I still do hit calves because I'm not going to, like, negate a body part and just ignore it, but um, I don't have to do a ton of work with calves, all right? Um, Pretty much every leg workout I do, though, goes calves, hams, quads, and then um, com like complex movements, right? So uh, hamstring curls, four plus a drop. Again, this is a lot to just get some blood in the muscle, get it centralized, um, and then really I do that burnout set at the end. Again, this just really lets me concentrate on my hamstrings individually, and that's what I like. Uh, stiff leg deadlift, again, a little bit more of a compound movement. I typically do mine with my heels elevated, uh, whether it be on plates or whatever else, and I'm really trying to push down through my heels when I do those, and then pop back up, flexing my hams and my glutes, pushing the ground down as I come back up. Leg extensions, again, trying to just work as much blood into the muscle as I can, make sure my knees are nice and warmed up before I do uh, barbell split squat. So I do split squats typically with a barbell. Uh, this week for the 10 reps, I was, I was doing anywhere between 185 and 225, kind of just depending. Um, I'm really getting strong on split squat. I love split squat. If you guys have knee issues from doing back squat or, you know, your low back hurts, whatever, switch to a split squat. It allows you to uh, drop the weight quite a bit. And um, it's, it just feels great. You can really isolate that quad. Again, you're, you're trying to push your foot into the ground the entire way down and up to really activate that quad. Um, and then leg press. I tend to end with leg press um, almost every single leg workout just because it's probably my favorite exercise in the world. I don't go super heavy. Again, I'm trying to push my feet flat on the ground the entire way through and really focus on you know going down and squeezing up through. I'm not one of those big dumb assholes who does um, 7 million pounds on a leg press. That's not me. It, it's all for feel. That's at the end of my workout. I'm doing it to burn my legs out and finish them off, not you know just go crazy, okay? Uh, Tuesday, I do arms and... Uh, this week I did, well, Tuesday, this week, Tuesday I did arms. So I, I typically start with either triceps or biceps. Sometimes I switch that up. It doesn't really matter. Um, I always start the body part 
uh, with a drop set. So I try to get a lot of blood into the muscle. So rope tricep extensions, my favorite tricep exercise of all time. Again, really trying to flare the, the wrists out at the bottom, flex the tricep. And as I come up, I'm really trying to contract the bicep almost uh, to really pull and stretch that tricep, okay? Easy bar skull crushers. Again, um, you can do this on an incline or a flat bench or a decline even. Um, this week, I just did them standard. Uh, most weeks, I do do them either sitting up or on an incline, but this week I did them standard. And then weighted dips. The gym I go to has a dip machine. I love it, so I use it all the time. Again, when you're doing dips for triceps, you want to keep the elbows back, not out, right? When we have the elbows out, we tend to activate a little bit more chest. So I really try to keep my elbows back, pushing down through the triceps that way. Uh, seated dumbbell curls, again, um, I do everything with intention. So I don't use heavy weight pretty much ever. It's all about how much weight can my muscle actually contract and initiate with the muscle I'm pulling. So when I do biceps, um, I, that's what I'm focusing on is initiating through the biceps. So that's also why I do the seated dumbbell curls. It allows me to not rock, to not use my hips, um, and I can't go heavy at all when I do that. And then again, I'm dropping there. Cable curls, again, I want to make sure I'm getting the entire range of motion. So I'm getting my elbows up now. You know, you start, they're down and back. Now I'm getting the top of the movement. So that's what I'm trying to do when I'm doing the cable curls. Um, and then machine preacher curls, again, it's standard straight out in front of you. So I get kind of the mid range, right? So my elbow goes high mid, low, if you look at all those exercises. So I'm really trying to get the full range of motion to contract that bicep, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, chest on Wednesday, let's get right through this. So uh, what we're doing on Wednesdays, again, cable fly. I always start with a fly movement, typically, again, to warm up the chest. I've seen terrible things happen to people who don't warm up their chest properly before they work out. Uh, I never want that to be me. So um, cable fly is really, really important. Incline Smith machine, again, I typically will go to incline next. Most Bodybuilders, um, and that's what I consider myself, uh, do, don't, like, they always want their upper chest bigger, right? So I always tend to start with my upper chest. So it's incline Smith press, again, allows me to save my shoulder joints a little bit, really focus on the chest. When I'm doing incline Smith press, I'm literally trying to squeeze my hands in as I come down and up. So I'm literally trying to pull the bar together as I'm doing that. And what that does is even if you do it without weight, right? So if you're sitting there right now, take your hands out and then try to pull together, you'll feel that chest contract. That's what I'm trying to feel the whole time I'm working. Really make the chest work. You can see guys who bench way too much weight. They look like shit, they're fat, they have a beer belly. Fuck that, I'd rather look good, initiate the muscle, and have my muscles look good than just be super strong, be able to move a bunch of weight, and then have shoulder problems. Like That's cool if you want shoulder problems. If you don't, initiate with the muscle you're trying to work. Right? If you're trying to work your chest and you feel it in your shoulders, yeah, it's a secondary movement. You might feel a little bit, but if you're feeling it dominating your shoulders, you're doing it fucking wrong. Get over it. Uh, learn how to lift. So you can research pretty much. I mean, Chris Jones knows how to do this shit, guys. If you don't know who that is, you know, Pump Chasers, Physiques of Greatness, they'll teach you. If you YouTube, you know, any of those guys, Ogus, all those guys, uh, I'm not going to show you how to do exercises because I think that's stupid. I hate how-to videos. So if you can't figure it out, Google it. Um, incline Dumbbell Fly. Again, same thing, really trying to contract the chest, keep the triceps flexed at the top, okay? My arms don't bend until about halfway through. As I come up, flex that chest the whole time. Uh, hammer strength press, I love hammer strength machines. Again, I'm doing a drop set here because I can easily load and unload the weight. And then again, I'm ending with bench press, something that typically most people start with to measure their dicks. Fuck that, I, start, I end with it because I really don't give a shit how much I bench press. Again, at that point, I'm doing it to finish off the muscle. Sometimes I'll just do push-ups instead because again, I really just wanna burn the muscle out. Uh, Thursday, I did shoulders. Um, I do a lot for shoulders. I Shoulders, I think you can't have too big of shoulders. I've never seen a bodybuilder who had disproportionately large shoulders unless they're like sinful out of their mind, right? Um, most natural guys need more shoulder development, and I've worked really hard to build my shoulders. My problem is, is my arms grow super fucking fast, right? Like my arms just grow quick. So I have to do a lot of shoulder volume to keep my shoulders on par with my arms. Uh, if you'll notice my arms, I do 12 sets for biceps, 12 sets for triceps, that's it. Shoulders, I'm just smoking, right? Like it's just ridiculous. So machine side laterals, again, mainly to get the joints warmed up. Dumbbell side lateral raises. Typically I'll do these seated or standing. This week I did them standing, but normally I'll do them seated. Again, when I do side laterals, my goal is to flex the tricep the whole way up and down. So the whole way up and down, I'm focusing on flexing that tricep, keeping those arms straight and pulling through that side delt. I do not give a shit how much weight. My hands aren't in here so I can use more weight. Um, I'm literally trying to isolate the side delt as much as possible. Same thing with the rear delt, keeping the shoulders protracted, 
instead of retract it, right? So my shoulders are forward and really trying to pull back through the rear delt. So I'm always trying to initiate through that rear delt. A lot of people do a lot of rear delt work and they have terrible rear delts. That's why it's because they have no idea how to initiate through that muscle. You should not be able to do a lot of weight. The rear delt is a very tiny little muscle, right? It's literally just this. If you're using your back a lot, yeah, you might have, you, and, and a lot of people will do that to supplement their back workout, that's fine. But if you're really trying to isolate the rear delt, try that. Um, incline front raise, again, you just get on an incline bench. I typically go about 45 to 60 degrees, lay, lean back on it, come up, over, and down. If you don't want to do that or it bugs your shoulders, you can put your hands in an upward position, come up. But again, the goal is to get biceps to the ears and then down to the bottom. That way we're going full range of motion. If you do it on an incline bench and keep your triceps flexed, that's going to change your life. I promise you, your shoulders will be on fire. Um, and then dumbbell shoulder press. A lot of times I'll add a drop in here if I do machine. Uh, but this week I did dumbbell, so I didn't. And then I end again with a heavier movement, shrugs, just to cap it off. My traps are kind of the same way. I don't really need to do a whole lot of traps. My traps are huge when I want them to be, which is fine. Uh, last is back. Back's really, really simple. I always start with assisted pull-ups, typically just to get the back warmed up. Um, and then I'll do some drop sets. Again, I like to get a lot of blood in my back. As you can see, back's my favorite day. Like, I love doing back day. Um, it is by far my favorite day. My back has really, really taken a lot of steps forward since my show. Uh, since I was a kid, I've genetically never had a good back. Um, so I'm really working on building that back, building thickness, building lower lat width. That's what I've been really focusing on, and I've been seeing some good improvements, which is why I do what I do. Um, then bent over barbell rows, probably my favorite exercise of all time. Again, you see a lot of guys go way too heavy. They're using a lot of low back. They're pulling. They're moving. Again, the goal is to contract the muscles you're trying to work. So use your back. Squeeze your elbows. Like you should not initiate by doing a curl, right? Then you're going to do a biceps. You should be initiating by squeezing your back and then pulling your elbows back to deepen that contraction. You're not trying to lean and rock and throw your body just to move weight. You're just going to hurt yourself and look like a moron. Uh, cable rows. Again, um, we have a machine to do this as well, so I will a lot of times switch this out. But this week I did cable rows and did a drop set. Felt really, really good. Um, this one does bug my shoulder a little bit. I don't know why, but it seems like when I keep my, um, when I use like the narrow grip, it just bugs my rotator cuff a little bit, so I don't do these a lot. One arm dumbbell rows, love these. I actually, um, again, I, I, these are one of my favorite exercises. I do them on a bench. I don't go heavy. I don't try to rock or rotate. Try to keep that nice and still and just squeeze that back and contract. And then I get to my pull downs and my pullovers. So again, wide grip pull downs uh, and then cable pullovers. And that's literally what I did this week, guys. Um, that's the whole workout. Again, I have the format in the description below. If you, um, you know, just want to rewatch the video, take a screenshot, print out the workout, whatever you want to do is fine with me. Um, if you want to be added to, I guess, this Google Doc, you can just, you can see my email up there in the top corner, AaronNash20 at gmail.com. Um, just send me an email that says, hey, I'd like to get added to the weekly workout sheet and I'll allow you to view it. It's not a big deal to me. And then each week I'll just add another one, right? So um, like you'll see this week, I'll just rename it to week one. And then next week, I'll just put a new tab in, and we'll just go and do it that way. So uh, thank you guys for watching. hope you guys like this. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this series. Uh, if you think this is a good idea, if it helped you, if you did any of the workouts, how it worked, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Again, if you don't know how to do any exercises, I can't tell you over comments. Like, it's not going to make any sense if I try to explain it over comments. So just watch a video on it. Um, you can pretty much Google any of this shit, and you can... You know, I mean, if you YouTube any of this, like, you'll be able to figure it out. Don't ask me how to do each exercise because I can't explain it to you via text, okay? Hope you guys like this. I'm going to do it again next week. Have a great week. Peace.